Hey everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you what all the different keys are in the keyboard and just kind of explain how to navigate certain things on our Chromebooks. So if we start over here on this left side, this is your control key. You're not going to be using this much in class. However, the shift key, that's how you make capital letters. So you would hold down shift. Generally, if you're doing it with correct form, you're going to hold down shift with your pinky and then use the capital letter. But especially as you're in a younger grade, hold down the shift button and then press whatever key that you want to be capital. Or if you wanted to do something like the explanation point or the at sign, those are the above the one, two, and the three. If you want to do any of those things, you got to hold down the shift button and then press one or then press two. This next thing, this is our search button. So you can just press this and it'll do a Google search. It's really convenient. Tab, this is how you move. Um, you can tab over inside Word documents. And then I really want to talk about this top row. So everything on this top row, these are like shortcut keys. Escape, if you ever need to get out of something, Press the escape button, ESC. That's that one right there. And then if you want to move back and forth between pages, you'd click that. If you need to refresh your website page, so for example, if you were on, you know, if you were typing and then it froze, so you could reset it right there. To go into full screen, you're going to press this button. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so this one right here is the full screen, right here. This one, I'm not sure what that one does. This right here is your brightness. So if you want to make your screen less bright, if you want to make it more bright. And then moving down to the end, this is your sound. To do no sound, you're going to click this. So if, if, you're, if your computer's making noise or making sounds to turn off the sound, click this button. And then this is to make the sound like less loud or quieter. And this is to make the sound louder. And then, of course, there's our power button right there. That's how we turn it on and off. And then very important, and I have to stress this with some of the younger kids a lot, this is the enter button. So after you type in whatever website you want to type in, you have to press the enter button in order to get there. Um, and then we have our arrow keys. These are really powerful. If you want to move down a page or move up a page, like let's say you're scrolling a website or you're reading things, Use these, use these arrow keys. They'll, they'll help you to move from side to side or move up and down to see things a little better. I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the keys on the keyboard. Otherwise, I am signing out, and I will see you guys next time.